What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. How do you guys like the intro? So I finally uh, got around to hiring somebody to help me do the intro and um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, there was a lot of thought put in and I find it's cool. Um, and uh, let me know in the comments what you think. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, uh, welcome. I'm all about martial arts, fitness uh, for older guys. That's because I'm 41 and I've been practicing martial arts my whole life. Uh, judo for the past maybe five years, four or five years, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for about six prior to that. And of course, a whole bunch of other martial arts. Brown belt and judo, by the way, going for the black, going for a world title in my division, uh, weight and uh, age division. In this video, I'm gonna answer a question from one of the guys in the community. All right, so Jean Claude, this one's for you. Reached out to me on IG. So, Jean Claude. Uh, did, did judo, right? And he was training with guys who were heavier than him, uh, 200 pound dudes, right? And he was lighter than them. How much lighter, he didn't say. So anyways, to compensate for the weight difference, what he had to do was to increase aggression, increase speed. And that's normal, that's normal. In, uh, in judo, when I'm fighting my coach, who's you know about 200 pounds, uh, six foot, I'm like five, seven and a half, five, eight. Man, yeah, I gotta go fast, I gotta go hard, and I gotta be aggressive or else he just uh, ragged up, rags all me, right? From there, he developed this, uh, uh, this ag very aggressive style of fighting, right? Then for whatever reason, which uh, he didn't mention, he switched over to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and now all of a sudden, like he's, uh, he's worried about hurting other people. Uh, I think that maybe he might have, uh, you see, once again, uh, uh, JC, Jean-Claude didn't mention it, but I'm guessing he might have um, went a little bit too hard at one point, and then one of the guys might have complained, one of his uh, uh, training sparring partners, right? <laughs> that tends to happen when judo guys go over to BJJ. <laughs> the BJJ guy's always complaining. Oh, you go so hard, oh, blah, 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 you know, relax, we got a floor roll, you know, and uh, cool, you know. But the thing is, the speed of judo and the speed of BJJ is, um, is very different. And, uh, because of the rule sets, and also because when you're standing up, I mean, you gotta move, man. It's very dynamic. He's worried about hurting the other guys, uh, so what he does is he ends up playing guard all the time. And after a while, uh, you play guard, you run out of cardio, and then you get tired, you get past, you get submitted, right? Which sucks. So. What's the solution? How can he, uh, you know, get over this uh, fear of hurting other people? Well, okay, here's the thing. I don't know your rank, uh, Jean-Claude, and that's the thing. If I don't know your rank, I don't know how many years you've been doing it, what's your weight, your actual weight, your physical condition. If I don't have enough details, I'm gonna go off with uh, some assumptions, right? I'm assuming you're probably not a brown belt, probably blue and lower, right? Something like that. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing blue and lower, probably about 150, 160, something like that. Okay, or maybe 150 to 170, we'll give it that range, okay? And the reason why I'm assuming that Jean-Claude here is a, a blue belt or less is because, well, at one point when you get to brown, you kind of, you're able to control what you're doing. Oh, and a little, another detail about, uh, about uh, Jean-Claude here is that he was able to, uh, he was a very uh, introverted type of person, right? And then uh, judo let him uh, express himself, made him more extroverted. He was able to let loose, right? Which is really fun in combat sports. Uh, contact, combat source, you get to let loose, and especially in, 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 uh, in grappling, like judo or uh, wrestling or BJJ. It's because you could go pretty much 100% and not get hurt. Well, that's the idea anyway, which makes you improve very fast and it's, it's very fun that way. BJJ all of a sudden, and pretty much like can't express himself, can't let loose. So what's up with that? Or at least he's, when he lets loose, well, he breaks people, okay? My suggestion here is that you have to learn how to slowly submit your opponent. Now, how would you do that? Well, when you go into a joint lock, I mean, there's a range of motion that, you know, beyond that, the joint is locked. Like for example, if my elbow is here, I'm extending it and right about here, it gets, this is locked. Now. First of all, you don't just yank it and break the guy's arm if you have a arm bar on him, okay? Which is, it's not cool, you know? Even in judo, it's not cool. In competition, uh, I mean, you're going fast because you want to get to that, uh, get to the lock and start putting pressure so he taps, so he doesn't just, you know, like uh, pull out of it, muscle out of it, because that's what judo guys do. Uh, <laughs> but you always have to do it in control. So once you get it 
locked out. When it's extended, completely locked out like that, I mean, from there, you hold that and you put uh, progressive pressure until the person taps, right? Not more than that. Once the person taps, it's over. So you have to be able to like, you could pull on it hard, but you stop before it's in full extension and locked out, the joint I'm talking about, okay? So then from there, if the person, then you go slowly, you put force, I mean, just on yourself. Like, okay, put your arm like this straight out and start putting pressure. You're gonna start feeling, uh, you could tell when it's, it's, uh, it's, it's past the breaking point, kind of, right? So work on slowly getting the submission. So go for the submissions, right? Because uh, Jean-Claude here says that he sees the submissions, opportunities for them, uh, you know, when people are trying to pass his guard and stuff like that, but he doesn't go for it. No, you go for the submission. But the thing is, once you have it, okay, you slowly work on it and you slowly bring it to, uh, to, to the breaking point, so to speak, right? The, the full extension uh, depends on, you know, what you're doing, Kimura, uh, wrist lock. Actually, I don't think wrist locks are even legal in, in BJJ. <laughs> you slowly, once you have its position and then submission, right? That's how it goes in BJJ. So you get the position first, get the lock, and then from there, work it slowly. You know, don't worry about, um, remember, you have time. So like, chill out, you know? It's not, uh, uh, you're not there to break the guy's arm off. It's not, um, it's not judo. No one's gonna bring you, that's the thing. No one's gonna tell you to stand back up in like three seconds, right? Which is, for those of you guys who don't know, that's what it is in judo. <laughs> that's why people are in a rush. So do not uh, be in a rush because you don't have to. You have all the time in the world, right? On the, on the ground. So that's, that's my biggest suggestion, right? And then with the bigger guys, let's say you're, you're, uh, you're fighting people who are a lot lighter than you, a lot less experienced and a lot weaker physically, then what you want to do is that you do not want to manhandle them, right? So just take it easy. Worst case, if you have a hard time controlling yourself, then just play your guard and stuff like that with people who are smaller and weaker than you. And when you get to the big boys, do what I just told you. Like beast mode, go for it. They're big, you know? Like worst case, you, uh, you piss them off enough, they'll crush you. And you'll learn how to calm the hell down. If you don't, I think that you should learn how to meditate, bro. I think that it helps to focus, right? Work out your issues, ask yourself why you're a certain way. I think in life, guys, it's important to, uh, uh, when there's something going wrong, you have to ask yourself the right questions. Because if you ask yourself the wrong questions, then you're gonna come up with bad answers, right? It's the questions that are important. So for example, if you're, if you're having problems controlling your ferocity, ask yourself why. Now, if you're that ferocious, okay, you ask yourself why. Could be many reasons, you know, I don't know. After that, okay, well, how do I fix this? Is this right? What's a more balanced approach? What can I do? How do I not let this happen? Or how do I control it? And then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna search, your, your mind's gonna search for answers and then you, you'll find something. But uh, that's what I suggest, okay? Um, now, one last thing before I leave. If this beach, like, I'm not really sure how hard you're actually really going, right? But the truth is, maybe the BJJ club you're at are a bunch of pussies. I'm sorry to say, but there's there's some clubs that, you know, like, there are a bunch of pussies. Maybe not all of them, but maybe the ones that you've encountered, you know, are just, you know, they're, it's just not a good club. It's just a club that's too low level, right? So that could be it too. It could be a, a club that only does BJJ more for fun, for, uh, you know, they're not competitive. It's not a competitive club. It's more to learn the art, to practice, self-defense, you know, roll and chill kind of thing, right? So there's that too. So now if your club is um, a club that's not competitive, I would suggest you find a club that's competitive. Now, if of course your club is competitive and you're having these issues, then in every club, there's always the beast, the beast is, and then you got, you know, everybody else, you know? So from the food chain, right? Like a hierarchy, you know? You have the killers and then you got the, uh, the newbies and all oh, newbies can be killers too, but I mean, you know what I mean? So you got the low level guys who are there and who are essentially pussies and then you, who are just practicing for the fun of it. They're not out to compete and stuff like that, but it's, I'm calling them pussies, but I'm not, I don't mean uh, that 
I don't know what I mean. Anyways, find the beasts. Fuck with the beasts. Yeah, there you go. You know, like never mind. If you can't control yourself and like you want to roll with this guy because this guy, like you know, you 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 pressure pass him or you do something and he cries like a little baby. Like don't don't roll with that guy anymore. Go find the big dude or the guy who's your weight or whatever, but who's a beast, who's better than you, and who who's willing to go all out and hard. And now if your club don't don't have enough of these people, I'm sorry to say, but your club is not a competitive club. So that means uh, uh, it might be a club, uh, a pussy club, right? Like for fun, which is fine. You know, there's there's uh, there's nothing wrong with clubs like that. You know, I'm uh, I, I'm a competitor myself, so me I, you know, um, I, I I need to go to a club where there's uh, people fight because I'm trying to to achieve something. So I need competitors. I I need to be among competitors. But that being said, I've been to BJJ clubs where it's all. Uh, it's all nice and dandy and yeah some guys competed but for the most part the whole club didn't compete all that much a huge shout out to my boy christian fan uh he's my video editor and without him well these videos would be pretty much shit that's it i hope that made sense guys um you know so let me know what you think down below what should jean claude do and what information is missing what do you think do you guys think I'm right, I'm wrong? Have a discussion down below. And of course, if you like the video, like the video, comment below, subscribe, click on a notification bell so you get notified. I'm gonna be, um, well, no, I've been consistent, right? But anyways, guys, thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one.